What's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have something really exciting. I'm actually collabing with one of my stylists here at Rebel Femme and her name is Artistry of Lisa G. <laughs> and we're really excited because I have a huge project that I'm actually gonna be doing with Lisa today, Platinum Card. Like seriously you guys, you're not gonna wanna miss this because she has how many inches of roots? Like four? I'd say like almost three. So like bands on bands on bands on bands. Lots of bands. And compromising. Lots of breakage, she already has lots of compromised hair. So we have a little bit of delicate hair that we're working with. Her ends are really white, you guys. Like, it's, it's pretty intense to see how somebody who is truly a level one was able to get that, that white. white of hair. We have quite a bit of a challenge that we have on our hands today, so we're really excited. We're gonna show you how to do a platinum card and how we're gonna fix a lot of the banding. So this is a major color correction. I don't know, keep your fingers crossed and hopefully we- Think of us, pray to the hair gods. But before we move on, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a tutorial. Now let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> guys so this is a head of hair that we are dealing with as you can see she has super compromised ends she is a natural level one and has lots of bands and the reason why she has bands is because she told us that her prior hairstylist would just basically do her bleach out and then tell her come back whenever you need it done so didn't have her on a schedule so we are definitely putting her on a very strict five-week schedule to come back for a touch-up so as you can see she has lots of baby hairs and breakage that we're dealing with very compromised hair she is open for a haircut and this is why I have Lisa on this project with me so that way we can work in tandem and you're actually gonna see why it was even more important for us to work in tandem on this head of hair I honestly don't think I could have done it without her and here's that natural level one do not argue with me otherwise <laughs> we're actually gonna be using k18 to prep her with I don't know if we could have done it without the K18 to be honest and this was the first time we used it and again you'll see why when we're all done so we just dampened up her hair just a little bit to help soften and open up that cuticle and now we're just taking section by section adding that K18 letting it sit on for a minimum of four minutes and while that's sitting on we're gonna mix up our lightener so we're gonna be doing an entire platinum card and I'm gonna show you the exact sectioning and everything that we did throughout this entire process this is Kenra blue powder lightener one to two mixing ratio with 20 volume developer. Here's my setup. We're using all from our foils and yes, there is coffee. We're gonna need lots of it today. Here is the sectioning. It's just right down the middle and we're making a total of six sections. This is just to keep it nice and organized and clean. So that way, if we need to rinse out earlier, we can and it just gives us maximum control with this parting. Also the reason for that little mini subsection in the front is because that's where all her fragile hairs are at. Here's Ellie, she is gonna be helping us film as well. And now we're gonna get started in the back working from the bottom up. And we're taking diagonal back sections. And this is only because Lisa and I are working in tandem. So this is the best way that you can do it with two people putting in foils. So that way we're not really like bumping into each other versus the horizontal section. So Lisa and I will be working in tandem, making sure that entire back section is applied from the bottom up and we're cohesive. Now, if you don't have the luxury of applying the back section with another person, especially for a big correction like this, you could invest in some big pop of foils, which are super wide foils and take the entire back section horizontally and use the same exact technique. All of the links to all of the tools and everything you need to do a correction like this will be in the description of this video. Now for the application. What we are doing is taking really thin sections. You wanna make sure that you can see through these sections still. So they're about an eighth of an inch wide or deep I should say. So you can still kind of see through the hair onto the foil. And we're just applying that lightener just a hair away from that root area and taking it down to that line of demarcation. We are not worried about the roots right now because we're gonna apply that lightener later after this is done processing. And we're also gonna address the bands on the bottom a little later in the video. The reason why we are choosing to do this application for this big of a grow out is because 
the foil is going to be your heat conductor and it's going to allow for that lightener to really work and push through using the natural heat from the head to basically lighten it to where we need it to go. So we are going from a level one here and we need to get her to a solid level 10. So this is a huge challenge and I'm honestly shocked that we actually got her to a level 10, which you'll see at the end of this video. But this requires lots of attention and careful application. I'm also tri-folding each of these foils and that's to ensure that the ends, those fragile ends, do not touch the lightener portion. So again, there's lots of different ways you can go about this, but this is just the way that we decided to apply this section by section, foil by foil. And that way, when it's almost done processing and is done incubating, we're gonna pull these foils down and then apply the lightener right at the root so it can get caught up. Cause honestly that root area, that first eighth of an inch or even quarter inch is going to process so much quicker because the heat from the head is gonna allow for that lightener to process so much faster. So anything that's past that first quarter inch takes a lot longer to process. This is why we're doing the foil. So I really want to emphasize that. This is not an application that you can just put the lightener on and let it open air. It would not lighten to that level 10 that you'll see at the end of this video without that foil. I also want to mention that when you're doing a level one to level 10, you do wanna use an aggressive lightener, but a lower developer. We did choose the 20 vol and technically you could even go lower than that, but 20 volume was honestly perfect for her because she does have pretty coarse hair. It's something that you can't see in the video. You can also see it's really dense. Another reason why the foil is the perfect tool for this application. A lot of people will think that it's a waste of time and resources doing a platinum card, but I promise you when you see the results on the after, you will know that you would not be able to achieve that without this foil. Little key reminder here, make sure your sections are thin enough. And if you have the ability to have an extra set of hands to do this application, it'll make it go by so much faster. This typically should take you about an hour and a half if you are doing it by yourself. This took us a little under an hour to do this full application. All right, so this is what happens when two different people do the same application. There's two different types of foils. Are you team Lisa or are you team Morella? Comment down below if you like the left side or the right side better. I have a feeling I know what you guys are gonna say. Now on for the lightener. This is probably our fourth bowl of lightener. Really key thing to note is you're gonna wanna mix up your lightener as you're working. So don't mix up a big ass bowl of lightener and then start working. You want a nice fresh batch. So we always work in one ounce scoops until we're completely done and mix up a fresh batch. Now for the sides, we're always starting out diagonal. So these are diagonal backs and then we're going to start fanning our way up. So that way it becomes horizontal. That way when we get to the very, very top, the foils meet up really beautifully and we're not really bumping into each other. And either way, if we weren't doing this in tandem, we I would still do the application this way. So right here is where it starts to turn more horizontal. It's right around that arch of the eyebrow. So everything below that is diagonal. And like I said, it starts to fan up. And this is just for more control. We're still applying the lightener in the same fashion, really thin sections, bringing that lightener down to that line of demarcation and leaving a little tiny bit right at the root area. Now here's Lisa trying to be funny, putting her lightener on my side. So we're just gonna finish up this very last foil. Again, you can see the foils meet up beautifully, horizontally, and now we're gonna get ready to detail the very front hairline. Now I'm not exactly sure why we didn't film foiling that very front hairline, but nonetheless, I'm gonna explain it to you. So everything from that temple down, we applied the foils vertically. So they were completely up and down with a total of three on the side. And then for that very top section, we split it in half, basically mimicking her natural hairline. So it was slightly rounded. This is why we made it into a V section. So to get it started, we did the very front. And this is again, giving that maximum control so we can really take care of these super fragile broken hairs. And this was an area 
that we constantly kept an eye on because we didn't want to cause any further breakage. So that's why we left this last. We can keep an eye on it and if need be, it's isolated so we know exactly where that section's at and we can easily pull those foils a little early if, if needed. To finish it off, this is the very last foil, just horizontally to separate that front from the back. And now we are all done. This, like I said, took under an hour with just Lisa and I doing this application. If you did this by yourself, it would probably take you about an hour and a half or so. I would highly recommend getting some help. Can somebody say, holy foils, look at this amazing work. I love seeing this completely done and just like admiring all of the hard work that we did. So once we were done filming her turning around in circles and you could see all the beautifulness, of these gorgeous Framar purple and teal foils. She looks like an Easter egg. We took a peek at the back and she's pretty much almost done back there. So we were like, holy cow, 911, we need to remove these like ASAP. So we're using these Framar gloves. I forget exactly what they're called. I think they're called like something blenders. <laughs> Either way, I'll put it in the description of this video. But you're gonna put that glove onto your dominant hand in a regular glove on your left hand and using the glove it actually removes all of the lightener without it getting onto your fingers it's seriously magic highly recommend this was the first time I actually used them so we're removing these foils wiping the excess off and then applying the lightener right at the root now the reason why we're not using water and a towel is because number one that is an old method of removing lightener and number two Lightener is going to stop processing when it's not wet. So we'd rather the lightener just kind of dry out on that line of demarcation towards the bottom. So that way it just kind of stops processing. It's dried out, but water can keep it kind of still going. So that's why you don't want to use water and a towel. We're going to continue to apply the lightener onto the root area as we remove these foils, working our way up. As a matter of fact, we continue to apply the lightener even in between the foils because she was processing quickly. All right, so we're going to let her foils continue to process a little bit. We actually were going to prep some extensions for her while she was processing, but she processed so quickly in the back. We were actually pretty amazed that so we removed those foils, did a little bit more application onto that root area just to kind of get it processed and we just did that stopping point right right above the occipital the reason for that is because that's when it started to turn a little bit more yellow so it needs a little bit more processing time no worries we expected that but honestly this technique is amazing because you're incubating it into the foil so you're gonna get a lot more power out of your lightener sorry it's a little windy outside I thought it was gonna be more quiet out here versus being in the salon we're gonna just keep an eye on it she does have some banding so we're also gonna be correcting that as well and just kind of eyeballing exactly where all that, all that banding's at remove some of that old toner and I am I'm feeling pretty good about this we literally opened up the foils and we were like wow let's keep her processing I want to keep you updated and you can take a look at it we went ahead and applied all of the lightener onto the root area even in between the foils letting that process and we put a timer on for about 10 minutes and right at that 15 minute mark the back was already done so we just needed to leave those foils on in the front because she did have a little bit of orange still left and we are trying to get her to a solid level 10. We continuously checked her elasticity. You can see her hair is still really, really strong. It feels really good, but it is definitely that pale level 10, which is perfect. So now this is a perfect time for us to go ahead and rinse it all off. When you know that the hair is completely done, this is the only time you're gonna introduce water to the hair because you're gonna rinse it thoroughly and you're gonna shampoo out that product. Now we did use K18 on this part of her hair while she had to go back to the station and continue to process because we had to go back in and basically repeat the same process that we did in the back. Remove these foils, remove the lightener, and then add a fresh batch of lightener right on top of that so we can get her to this level, you guys. This is, this is pretty tough from where we started at. So right in this area, which is kind of like the center of the head, she had a lot more natural pigment going on. So this is where we're, again, spot applying. So anywhere where we see a little bit of that, maybe level eight, nine even, 
we need to get it to that 10. So this is where Lisa is actually applying a little bit more lightener where it's needed. Her roots are pretty much done, but we still saw an opportunity to even get it slightly lighter. And again, we checked the elasticity, making sure her hair is in great health and repeating this process over and over again, section by section. And that's what makes this process so tedious. So definitely charge appropriately. Overall, this entire start to finish color process took us about eight hours. Personally, I would charge an hourly fee for this type of application and just know that it's gonna take you a full day, especially with this volume amount of hair. And you can see we've mixed up quite a few bowls of lightener and the overall key to doing any type of correction is to be patient and trust the process. Make sure you're checking the health of the hair and don't push it too far if you know it can't handle it anymore then you need to come up with a plan B and sometimes even a plan C. Once we were confident that we got her to that nice, perfect level 10, so the inside of a banana peel, we did a thorough rinse shampoo and now we gotta address those ends. Keep in mind they're super fragile, they're broken a little bit, she is open to a haircut, so yay. We don't have to worry too much, but what we got mixed up here is Kenra Professional No Ammonia. So it's a little bit gentler of a lightener, still really powerful, but we went ahead and mixed it up in 10 vol and applied it on damp hair right at the bowl and watch this magic happen before your eyes. You can almost instantly see how blonde her hair is, how much lifted literally right before your eyes. So this was took us about 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes tops to apply it and wait for this lift. It happened really, really quickly. Again, this was 10 volume on damp hair right at the bowl. And this was honestly, we were just shocked at how well it worked. And again, how great of condition her hair was in right when we were done. The key to getting this to work really well is not only your formula, but also using your hands and making sure you're really working that product right on through. There are other products such as Malibu CPR and lots of other tools that you could use, but this, you guys, was like the magic here. This is what we needed, and we needed something that was a little bit more aggressive than a CPR or a toner correction because she had that blue sitting underneath. So this did it for us and now we have a really great base to work with for a toner. So we shampooed her out and didn't do any conditioner because now we're going to get ready for that final toner but you do want to make sure that all of the water is out of the hair and our overall goal was to get her to a white blonde and this is the magic formula here. We basically did one ounce of 10A, one ounce of diamond frost and a few ribbons of 10 SM right onto damp hair. If you wanted max saturation, normally for a formula like this, I do like to apply onto dry hair, but this was mixed up one to one. We just knew her hair and her scalp has gone through quite a bit. So applying it onto damp hair was honestly just perfect for her. Put it on roots to ends and a processed it for a full 20 minutes room temperature. A pro tip is when doing any type of toner application to make sure that not only your formula is good, but that you're applying with oversaturation and really working in that product from roots to ends. Because we overall got her to a pretty even level 10 and the porosity in her hair is pretty equal all around. It just made sense for us to go ahead and start on the roots and bring it down to the ends. But had there been some severe porosity issues, we probably would have applied it a little bit differently. Again, we're on the seventh hour of this application and there was definitely some areas where us as hairstylists, we saw some opportunity to go and fix it up a little bit more. And we just knew that this was kind of the stopping point for her hair for this appointment. So the next time she comes in, we can go ahead and touch up her roots and maybe go ahead and spot lift in certain areas as long as she's taking care of her hair at home, which this is a perfect time to educate your client on all of their take home products and everything that they need to do before their next five to six week appointment. If you want to check out how to do a bleach and tone retouch to a level 10, be sure to check out the link in the description of this video or click on the link above. 
So once the 20 minutes was done, we took her back to the shampoo bowl, did another rinse shampoo, and did her final K18 treatment. We finished her off with a really good cut and shaping around the face and we colored matched her getting ready for her extensions for the next day, super excited. And then Lisa blew her out with a simple round brush style so that way we could get some gorgeous pictures. Day two, and we actually had to have our model come back because we got done so late, but even though we got some amazing shots at nighttime, we really wanted to see it in daylight. Plus, we're gonna be doing a hair extension install, so if you wanna check that video out, make sure you head on over to the link in the description. And let me show you like what is going on because Lisa over here is taking some amazing pictures and literally we got a gazillion shots on phone and four different cameras. All right, so here is the final result of our massive color correction with these level one roots. Seriously, Lisa and I were like freaking out on how in the heck we got this hair this even in one shot. I mean, that's really the kicker here. It's the one shot deal. So just to give you a recap, we pre-treated her hair with K18 and we used Kenwood Professional Blue Powder Lightener throughout. We also used the No Ammonia Lightener to lift out some of those bands as well as that old blue toner that she had kind of going on and gave her a trim and you guys look how amazingly healthy her hair is. Like we seriously, like I'm in shock. I mean, I knew that we're great at what we do, but this is like, I don't know if it was luck or it was just the fact that we had two people on hand to really get this job done. So I definitely think what we did here today is doable in one visit but like i was mentioning before you want to charge an hourly service for this and you really need to have a lot of patience and diligence and also have that plan b honestly we weren't expecting to get her to this in one shot we were prepping her for you know the what ifs and we over delivered because we under promised throughout this entire service i also want to mention the magic toner which was 10A Diamond Frost and a little bit of 10SM and she's happy, we're happy. <laughs> All right, so really, we really hope you enjoyed this video oh as gosh. much as we did. This this transformation was epic. Yeah, eight hours, amazing, really. really. And honestly, it turned out amazing. Really impressed with this white formula. All of the information to all of the formulas and everything is in the description of this video. And be sure to follow Lisa, Artistry of Lisa G on YouTube okay. as well and Instagram. Where else do you live? TikTok. TikTok. <laughs> Just kind of everywhere. I have a website, yeah. Yeah. artistry.com. You want to check out the next step? that we're doing that'll be in another video we're gonna be adding something a little fun to her hair we're not gonna tell you what yeah no tell them what it is tell them what it is extension add in some weave baby <laughs> yeah, add some weave. so this is gonna be a super epic transformation if you want to check out this that Still video like that, be sure so. to check out that just linked in the description. <laughs> the description. I can't even talk anymore. I'm just yeah. so excited. I want to get yeah. started. So if you really enjoyed this video, please comment down below and let Lisa and I know what your favorite part was and maybe tell us what you maybe would have done differently. Yeah. I don't know. Or what would your go-to formula would be? Yeah. If you like, let us know if you like it. That's really it. Let yeah. us know if you liked it. If you hate it, let us know too. <laughs> Be sure to follow me on my other social channels like Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok under Morella Manelli. See you soon. Um, yeah, we'll see you soon. Okay, bye. See you in the next video. <laughs>